Welcome back. Let's get Junpei's linked episode going. I'm wondering what this is going to be about. It's going to be interesting, considering everything going on right now. We've got the fold coming, the Chidori situation. How are you feeling, Junpei? Yeah. Sup, Mikano? Hey, you have some time now? I'll, I'll treat you to some takiyaki. Should I spend some time with Junpei? Of course, of course. All right. Let's head to Octopia. You go on ahead to the shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. That cheers, mate. Hmm. They want me to wait for you? Aw, you gonna miss me? Yeah, I am. You're a good friend, Jumpe. I tease you, but you're good. You're a good guy. It's fine. Just go on ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Got some uh, takoyaki, and this one's for you. Hmm. Thanks. I don't want to say that. I'd like we're not teasing him at this point. Like, no, no. Thanks. Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. Oh, I will do. Just messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. Aww. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? Well, the takoyaki's more the sentiment of you're sorry, more than it making up for it. It's like, no, I get it, mate. Again, emotions are running high. You've been through a lot. We've all been through a lot. It makes sense. Hmm. Is this all you've got? Like, no, 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 no. I already forgave you. Still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I get it, I get it. I took my anger out on you. And you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. Yeah, you needed to vent. I get it, I get it. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but... I didn't know what I did wrong. I, uh, think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me. Oh, yeah. For a long time, I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. Yep, yeah, it's all about that dread. The other day, when everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said, it put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that man I get it's no problem mate it's completely understandable hey come on eat up don't want cold takoyaki do you Woohoo! that was tasty and it's not too bad cold either hey by the way have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet Oh, yeah, I decided ages ago, before we even knew about the choice, oddly enough. You know, having played this story before. Ooh. Go over, yeah, I have. Gotcha. Look, man. Me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff. But whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've... Always been jealous of you. You're a special dude. And everyone's always counting on you. And mate, we're counting on you as well. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. Although at the moment, you are like, uh... 
70 odd levels behind everyone else, but still. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. No. Oh. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? Like, again, I, I, I don't know the answers to that question, really. Hmm. What about Chidori? Ah. Yeah. You'd forget her, mate. I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It'd suck to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, this is some much needed characterization for Junpei here. Much needed at this point in the story. Considering what we had in the mail route previously, it was missing aspects like this. But Junpei is like, yes, good, good. All right, that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Oh yeah, it's, it's a takoyaki, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader? Oh, indeed. Junpai and I chatted all the way home. Courage, who cares? Uh, diddly dee, yeah, 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 yeah. Move, move it on, move it on. We're out of here. Evening. What do we do? Oh, I've got a box. Oh, how delightful. Right. Oh, welcome back. After I finished my exams, I walked around town for a little while. The lost are everywhere now. Running into them is no longer just an occasional incident. Perhaps it has to do with the fall. Hmm. We have to do something. But what? Right. Yes, I agree. We must continue going to Tartarus. Whether our opponent is a shadow or fate itself, we will need to be strong to win. I'm waiting for a reason to go to Tartarus again. It's like, give me a reason game other than just, you know, the floor is opened up sort of thing. Like, more, more than that. Right, so... Let's see what we got going on at the mall. See if we get some more magic. Do do. Right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Yep, it's magic time. And we know how that works. Three more for Jack Frost. It's the 20th. A Sunday. Oh. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. That's a very nice office chair there. That that's it, just just a very nice office chair. It could do with some arms though. Is something wrong? Maybe higher back support. No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Oh, are you feeling lonely? <laughs> hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. That, that was interesting how you said that. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Big and round. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? Oh no. I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. I do like Yukari's bedclothes, though. 
just something about the pattern it's got going on there. I've got a similar on my bed, but it's a it's not pink. It's it's got a sort of brown and cream thing going on. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. Yeah. Karamaru. That's true. And he's an exceptional persona user. Even if death was empowering him from within. Wait, what? Karamaru doesn't have death in him? What? He's an interesting guy, huh? He says arf a lot. He certainly is. All right, then. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. It, oh. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Good. See, this is why I'd want Ryoji around. I'd, I'd want to ask more questions, like, why can Nyx not be defeated? Because that would be an important question. Because that may reveal a weakness, you know. There's no school today. It's almost time for the home shopping show. See, we've got a similar um, desk chair here, but Yukari's almost looks like it's got that padded bit built in. Maybe, maybe it's a cushion she got. But yeah, if it had the padded bits built in, that'd be very nice. Very nice. Probably not great support-wise. But in terms of how it looks, nice. Simple. I like it. Anyway, it's Sunday, so... Let's get buying what we want to buy, which is... Pink duffel coat. And I didn't read that. Don't know what it was. Don't know what the second one was. We've got the pink duffel coat, anyway. Thanks. Thanks, kid. Right, so... There's nothing going on for me, is there? Nothing. So let's see about um, social links, just to be sure. So we've got Fuka's maxed. Mitsuru just needs one more. It's art clubs, really, what we want, really, isn't it? No, we're finishing up two at the moment, and we're nearly finished there. Hmm. Let's ensure we get Mitsuru's done by going to the shrine and getting an offering. Just, just be sure, you know, just be sure. All right, draw fortune. Mitsuru. What we got for our fortune in terms of luck. Blessings to the believer. And I have a little luck, 500 yen then. Very well. Heading back to the dorm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Hi. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. So now we got the same situation at night. Although it's Sunday, we should be able to get stats, shouldn't we? So we should be able to just go straight over and get some more magic. So that's what we appreciate, our lovely magic. Right, here we go. Another three for Jack Frost. Hee-ho, everyone. Hee-ho.
It's the 21st. A hee ho Monday. And the exam results are up! <laughs> Quick! I'm in the top 10. Well, we did alright though. Everybody's is looking at me. But that, that's good enough. That's good enough. Alright. Come to think of it. Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. Oh. Oh yeah, we should be... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because we might get some... Um, stat incense. I should talk to Mitsuru when I see her. Yeah, I mean... Try and get her social link done. Lunch time is almost over. I should get back to class. Alright, classes. We're a little ahead of schedule, so let's do some review. When you see electromagnetism, Lorentz Force and Fleming's left hand rule should come to mind right away. I won't give partial credit if you write right hand rule, got it? Okay, moving on. Feeling sleepy? You're right, let's nod off. Um, and we'll just zoom through that because we know how that works. After school? Class has ended for today. Let's make sure there's no linked episodes. No. Okay, so who we got? Mitsuru! Oddly enough, just, just Mitsuru. So let's go down to see her. Hello, Mitsuru! Oh. Yuki, I saw your exam results. Good work. It's admirable how you continue to excel in school while fighting arduous battle after battle. Excellent. I got you a gift to acknowledge all your hard work. Here, take it. Master incense? What is this? What is this? Raises all of Persona stats by one. We maxed it out! And that obviously means I'm not going to be using that on you anymore because that would be a waste. We'd, we'd, we'd lose several stats for magic that we can get here. Oh, look at him rise in power. The most powerful Jack Frost you've ever seen. Anyway. Hello. Ah, Yuki, you must be relieved that exams are over. Good work. I think we could afford to relax a little bit for now. Yuki. Uh, do you have any plans today? If not, then maybe... All right, let's spend time with her. I see. <laughs> That's good to hear. You've shown me so many new things, so I'd like to return the favor this time. Oh. With that said, let's head back to the dorm first. Are we going on your bike? Yeah! The battery and tire pressure look good. And I've already changed the oil, so that's fine. Impressive. Well, this is just basic maintenance. Anyone can do the same. Yeah, all right, all right. I was giving you a compliment. Though if I start tinkering with the suspension and whatnot, there'd be no end to it. There have been days I've lost track of time doing this and had to run into meetings covered in oil. Oh dear. It seems I'm the type of person who can fall very deep into things. I'll have to be more careful. Oh, by the way, the matter involving my ex fiance was resolved sooner than I expected. How come? I'd like to know the details, please, if you don't mind. They ended up reaching out to us about a potential business arrangement. Without any of the marriage talks, of course. That's not bad. We managed to negotiate some favorable terms, so that should put the company back on track. I could have decided to burn that bridge, but I'd prefer not to shut down a genuine attempt to compromise. It may be thanks to you that I've become so open-minded. Mia, look for alternatives. All right, before we head out, I had a small gift for you, since you've done so much for me. It's the bill for Wild Duck Burger the other day. It's the key to my motorcycle. I noticed. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. This motorcycle isn't meant to be an escape from my feelings. It's a dear friend that gives me the freedom to go wherever I please. Oh, I see. I like it. I like it. Once I realized that, I felt that I absolutely had to show it to you. As our leader, I think it would be quite fitting if you had the skill to ride my dear friend here. 
When this is all over, let's take this motorcycle and go on a trip somewhere together. There's this little place I've heard of called Inaba. I'd like to go there. Hmm. Great idea. I like the, I don't have a license, but great idea. Isn't it? We'll have to start thinking about where we want to go. I just said, Inaba. I look forward to the day you learn how to ride it yourself. Once we go on that trip, I imagine it'll be full of things I've still yet to see. You are the one who taught me the joy of new discoveries. I can hardly wait. Mitsuru seems to respect me deeply as a friend she can trust. Ah, there we go. Another social link done. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. And we know how the rest works. It sounded like she said beep, 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 but all right. But that's Cagliostro, isn't it? Beep, beep. Yeah. Or we are a sled. Um, we can now fuse Alilat, the ancient goddess. All right, I think we've talked enough. Today, it's my turn to show you something new. Go ahead and sit on the back. Really? It doesn't look comfortable. Don't worry, it's just a short drive. I even prepared a helmet for you. There's a box there. The weather is perfect today. The view from the Moonlight Bridge is quite a sight to see, you know. I've been there. Here goes. Hold on tight. Several times. We rode around the city, then returned to the dorm. Evening. Oh, welcome back. Hello. Today is December 21st. It's 10 days until New Year's Eve. But for some reason, I'm actually not scared at all. Well, maybe I shouldn't say at all, but I think I'm okay now. Hey. I'm going to um... fight. Whether we'd win or lose, I don't know. But I want to know that I did everything I could. Yeah. That's, that, that's a good stance to have. Alright, so... Let's check the games again. So we've done Mitsuru. Just trying to think social link wise who we could now jump to. But now the exams are over, we should be able to carry on the others. Because that was the issue, like the exams were getting in the way. So no one's available for social link other than Mitsuru. Right, so let's just work our way up from the bottom, like we said. Not the vegetable garden one though. Uh, not the hourly wage one. Anything that could potentially increase, like, my ambush. Or my stats. So, Sengoku Chronicles. Ah, uh, that does warn me. So, the brain training? That's academic. Oh, no, I didn't... Oh. Sage brain training. With the right training, you can have the mind of a sage. Use these puzzles to train your brain. Looks like the puzzles involve shapes, wordplay, and numbers. Your IQ level is Sage Next Door. Don't know how I feel about the results. But if nothing else, I feel a little smarter after training my brain. Dead. Yeah, I didn't want that. Ah, well. Ah, well. It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. It's the 22nd. Sunday. Blip, blip. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. Ooh, finally. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Exactly. Now we can go to Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Bye. Now there's a reason. Now there's a reason we can go. That's what I was waiting for, like something. Well then. It's chilly today at a Gibor Leolum Adonai. Miss Onishi left early today, so I'll be filling in for her. I think today we'll learn about near death experiences. There's no reason for it, they've just been on my mind lately. 
Now, a near-death experience is defined as something an individual undergoes just before death. Is it true insight into the afterlife or simply a trick of the brain? Opinions vary, but it is certainly true that near-death experiences have been a hotly debated topic for some time. There are actually a few surviving records of ancient near-death experiences. According to the writings of Plato, a resuscitated soldier experienced the afterlife as a spirit. A similar incident was reported in Japan by ethnologist Kunio Yanagita in the Tono Monogatari. Psychologist Carl Nyong wrote that in his own near-death experience, he saw a vision of the world from afar. I'm sure you've heard your own stories, whether by famous or ordinary individuals. I have a few first-hand reports with me today. Let me read you some of them. I felt as if my soul was detached from my body. I met a friend who had already passed away. I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. I saw the most brilliant light. I was bathed in pure light. My body was brimming with happiness. This feeling of pure joy is also known as euphoria. At any rate, these kinds of reports are typical for the experience. Some people have actually attempted to make direct recordings of near-death experiences. Really? Researcher Kenneth Ring has tried to quantify near-death experiences with a weighted core experience index. Oh my. Modern efforts have led to a new theory of near-death experiences, which goes like so. If an individual is dying, it denies that fact. They'll eventually come to realize that death is a reality they must accept and become upset. As a result, they'll try to do anything they can to extend their life. But the futility of this leads to depression. In the end, they accept their fate. Although we may initially deny death, we'll accept it in the end. That's just how we humans are. Is everyone listening? It's not every day that you hear a lesson like this. <laughs> how about a test to see if you are paying attention? Get it wrong and your memories of life at school will disappear. At a gibor liolam madonai. Now who should I pick? I choose the Yuki. How do we call the feeling of joy that comes from a near-death experience? Euphoria. Yugoslavia? What? <laughs> Alright. Euphoria. Correct. Good work. That is correct. You'll have a happy school life. Some people say a near-death experience awakens one's higher consciousness. Whether or not that's true, there is an observably lower fear of death found in those who have endured one. Perhaps this is because near-death experiences are surprisingly free of pain and suffering. But this is not to say I'd want any of you to seek one out. Use the time you have here wisely, okay? Well, that's all for today. Class is dismissed. Answer correctly. We don't need this. Moving on. So, after school... Who can we do now? Class has ended for today. Do we have a linked episode? No, we've got you three. Alright. Let's go with baby. Seeing as you were uh, rank 9, so. There you are, baby. Hello, hello. Oh, Makoto, exams have come to an end. We both fought hard. Now my brain's exhausted. It is the final countdown today. My kimono shall be completed. Alright then. Thank you. You have my thanks. Now, to finish this. There we go. At last, it is fini. Can we see it? A great work. How does it look? How does it look? It came out very well. I cannot see a single thread out of place. Glorious. When my uncle sees this, he will surely change his mind about Neon. That is impressive. There's a lot going on and I like it. It is time for him to concede. I must hurry and go see him. Tutsui. Aloha. I have to say goodbye for a little while. But someday, I will return. It would be interesting to see Bebe in like Persona 6. I will not give in to my uncle. Hmm. 
Please, take this. I thought he was going to give me his fan. And I was going to comment on the fact that he actually had something in his hand that he gave to us. But no. No. I made it out of the leftover material from the kimono. It is a symbol of our friendship. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Please, please wait for me. I am certain I will return. Here in Niho, the times I feel truly at home, they are the times I spend with you, my Tomodachi. I'll be waiting for you. Katachi can I? Maybe seems to really care about me. Give him a hug. I've gained a lifelong friend. There we go. So that's that's another one done. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The, we, the I'm thinking we have to be careful with Yuko now, really. When she pops up, we should do her over everyone else. Although we've got the art club as well, like, ooh. So, Yulunger, the governor of the heavens, could be fused now. It pains me to say this, but uh, I will be leaving tomorrow. No, no. See you later. Goodbye. For now, I promised Baby I'd see him again. Then I went back to the dorm. Leaving tomorrow, so we shouldn't see him around the school, right? Right? There's a box on the counter. Looks Shiruko can. Oh. Welcome back. What's up, dude? What is up? Ooh, there's a lot that is up. Um, let's see here. Oh. I was gonna say we should see about Tartarus if we don't have anything, but can't. Can we meet today? I'll explain everything when you come. I'll be waiting on the fourth floor of the dorm. See you then. Alright. Let's go see Ken. Oh. Um. Did you see my message? I have a request for you. Seems like he has some business with me. Could I spend the evening with Amada? Yeah, it'll be interesting. Again, considering everything that's happening at the moment. Spend time with him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, let's head to the roof first. Sorry for making you come all the way up here. What's that you've got there? Like, what's your request? Well... Would you have a practice match with me? Right here, right now. It, and these are the weapons? It's just, now we're going up against that thing that lived inside of you, right? Well, no. We're going up against Nyx, which is a different thing. I thought if we sparred, I could get an idea of how well I would do against it. I, I trained in secret for a long time, so I could avenge my mom's death. That was the only time I could forget the pain. When I was alone, swinging my spear. But I've changed since then. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. I'd promised that I'd see this through to the end. I have to make good on that. Anyway, I want you to see me the way I am now, Senpai. Of course, I don't want us to actually get hurt, so I'll be using this. The power of the broom. And this one's for you. Please go easy on me. Oh. I was wondering what it was. Thank you for this. Couldn't see the bat part behind him. Now then? Please, take this seriously. Otherwise, there's no point. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. <sighs> oh, dear. I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. No, that's the stars going around your head because you accidentally hit your head on whatever this is behind you. You were just as strong as I thought, Senpai. I had no chance. At least, now I know where I stand compared to you. Are you satisfied? Yes, I gave it my all. 
Although, it is still frustrating to see such a difference in our skills. I don't know what decision you'll make in the end. But as long as there's time, I won't stop training. So would you mind if I challenged you again sometime? Any time. Thank you. I'll get closer to beating you. Just wait. I really like it here. I've made so many memories since coming to this dorm. Both fun and difficult ones. But I feel like living means carrying it all with you and moving forward. I used to think I didn't have a place to call home. But I realized that's not something you get from someone else. Home. My real home. Is the place that helps me move forward. That's why... I believe fighting to come back here is what Aragaki-san would have wanted. Damn right he would. I've learned that everyone at the dorm has their own reasons for staying. And that means I need to do my best too. I never would have figured that out if I didn't have you all behind me. Let's do Oh, we don't want you catching a cold. I like being on the rooftop at night, but maybe it's too cold to be out here in December. Can we talk some more inside? I'd like to go over today's battle before I forget. Oh, and while we're at it, you should say hi to Hamburger, too. Maybe it's because it's winter, but his fur's gotten so fluffy and cute. Oh, it sounds adorable. Let's go see Hamburger. After chatting with Amada in his room, I headed back to mine. It's nice to see his resolve. That could be the last one for all I know. I was inspired by how honest Amada was with his feelings. Oh, thank you. SP up. Alright, so the 23rd of Wednesday. This time we'll do Tartarus. Assuming there's no linked episode. I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Sonata-san. You sure this is where you want to be? Well, I was planning on visiting her, but when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. I've still got unfinished business to take care of first. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't have anything to tell Shinji right now. I've got my own stuff to deal with. An unbeatable enemy, huh? I wonder what it's like. Unbeatable. Beats me. It doesn't matter, though. I've already made up my mind. I don't care what I'm up against. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. <laughs> I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. All right. All right, so what are we doing? Today? That's, yeah, today is the Emperor's birthday. There's no school. Oh. Okay, healthy brain food. Hmm. Not much we can do. Well, let's just head over here and get an offering for Yuka. Just, just to be sure, because again, want to get her uh, social link done. From a fortune. Blessings to the believer. Day's luck is little luck, 500 yen. Cool. Back to the dorm. All right, so let's head to Club Escapade. Oh, welcome back. Hello. There are eight more days until New Year's Eve. Yuki-san, do you know what you'll decide yet? Well, I... I do. I'm going to fight. I was thinking about it a lot, but then I realized there wasn't much to think about. I mean, I can't tell my mum or Aragaki-san that we failed, so that's that. Yeah, we got options around, but we're heading to Tartarus, so club escapade. Although I should actually check if there's any linked episodes. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. I was worried then. Now tell me, what shall it be? Um, I want to know my fortune. I don't want rarity, because... We've done the um, Reaper, so we can get everything sorted there. That's everything done. Um, so it probably is the Aegee again. 
I mean, that's not really going to help me. I can take him out now. Um, yeah, the OG it is. That'll help me out quite nicely. All right. So while we're here, we'll check see if you've got anything for me. Go have a look. Just the dating site note. Very well. Okay, so let's see about heading to Tartarus. I may. Oh, there's no need really. So I, was, I was tempted to like maybe do um, another Reaper fight and see about um, leveling up Junpei. Um... Could do it. Could do it. Uh, let's go to Tartarus. Some people can't make it today, but would you still like to go? Yeah. Yes. All right, then let's meet in the usual place. I'll let the others know. See you there. Yeah, because we can't have Igis. I know that much, but anyone else? I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh, yes. Mikoto, may I have a moment of your time? Tartarus appears to have a special little guest today. And between its jaws, a clenched fragment that emitted a curious blue light. Should your curiosity get the best of you, perhaps it'd be best to pay this guest a visit. What floor? 190. I believe it will likely be on floor 190. Well, off you go. Let me get the um, twilight Marla. fragments there that I'll be using. Right, so Very well. we're obviously going to end this part here. And in the next part, we'll carry on through Tartarus. You know how it works at this point. We'll get the gatekeepers. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.